بسم الله الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله الطلبة الأعزاء السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته وأهلا ومرحبا بكم في هذا المحور الثاني من مادة نظرية الآلات Theory of Machines Chapter 2 titled Kinematic Fundamentals First part We'll start by chapter outcomes After covering this chapter student will be able to First Identify mechanisms and predict their motion. Second, calculate the degrees of freedom of mechanisms. Degrees of freedom, DOF. A degree of freedom is a number of independent parameters needed to completely define a system's position in space. It can be in 3D space or in 2D space. For this course, we will interest to 2D planar systems. Types of motion. First type is pure rotation. Object changes angular orientation about fixed axis. Second type, pure translation. Object changes position without changing angular orientation. It is also called linear motion. Third type, complex motion. Here we have rotation and translation as well. How about links now? As a reminder, mechanism is really a collection of links connected by joints arranged to transmit specific type of motion. So link, it is a rigid body which possesses at least two nodes. Nodes are points for attachment to other links. Links are classified according to number of nodes. For example, here we have two nodes. Number one, number two, it is called binary link. For this one, we have three nodes. Number one, number two, number three. It is called ternary link. Last example, we have four Nodes 1, 2, 3, and 4, for example, it is called quaternary link. So we opt to uh, uh, draw uh, the links uh, with a simplified uh, manner to uh, make it easy the analysis of mechanisms. Students must be able to identify and differentiate types of links. Also, links do not necessarily need to take their obvious shapes. So links are classified according to number of nodes and not their shapes. A joint. It is a connection between two or more links. It is the node. One joint, it is a node, which allows some motion. Joints can be classified in several ways. We will focus on two ways. First one, by the degree of freedom allowed at the joint. Second way, by the number of links joined, so order of the joint. 